People are strange when you're a stranger. Faces look ugly when you're alone. Women seem wicked. Welcome back to the Sunday special. We're reading Hellboy Omnibus number two, Strange Places. And this story is The Box Full of Evil. We can see this cover panel, which is, I assume, representative of the story. So apparently, uh, lots of monkeys and skulls. And our title, Box Full of Evil. Durgan Hill, England. Mr. Heath, now that we're here, can you run us through the whole thing one more time? Yes, very well. It was uh, very upsetting, I can tell you. Uh, last night, around 12, I started shifting into this weird accent. Oh my god, it was so strange. <coughs> And then I remembered I was English and, you know, decided to reread this bit. Well, yes, it was very upsetting, I can tell you. Last night around 12 o'clock, I was down here reading a book when suddenly I found that I couldn't move or speak. It was horrible. Then a man walked into the room, a complete stranger. I can't imagine how he got in. The house was all locked for the night. Can you describe him? Odd looking. He was short with a round head and a ridiculous sort of mustache. He looked very pleased with himself and he was carrying a candlestick shaped like a human hand. He walked past me without saying a word and went on went to work banging on the far wall. A few minutes later, he passed me again. He had a, box, a metal box and something that looked like a fire, that looked like fireplace tongs. I'd never seen either of those uh, things before. He left the candle stick on his way out. And I was frozen in place until 11.30 this morning. No sooner could I have could I move again? Then the servants came down telling me they spent the night and morning paralyzed in their beds. It was all too horrible. Can you explain it? Abe? It's a real hand. A real hand? <laughs> it is horrible. It's called a hand of glory. The hand of a hangman. Dot dry, dipped in wax. <coughs> Made into a candle. If it's used right, it can unlock doors and immobilize everyone in a house. So I guess your guy knew what he was doing. Stands to reason that he knew what the hell he was looking for. I think that's Abe talking. Maybe. He went through a lot of trouble. Hmm. There was something painted on the wall. Yes, it had been there forever. The house is very old. It used to be a covenant. The painting was of a uh, St. Duncan? Dunsel? Dunstan? That's it. No, Dunstan? That's it. Tongs. Yeah, in a box. Does it mean something? I hope not. Me too. Do you remember anything else? Did the round-headed guy say anything? No, he never spoke. There were some, there were, but there were some things. 
Bear in mind, I could not claim any psychic powers, but I don't, I don't believe in that sort of thing. But as as the odd man passed passed me on his way, I had a very, I had a very strong impression. Actually, it was a more like a vision, a house. How do I describe it? Do you know Poe's fall of the House of Usher? About the whole mansion and the domain there hung in an atmosphere which had no affinity with the air of heaven, but which reeked of the decayed trees and grey wall and silent tone. It was like that. Okay, and this is this guy. According to legend, Dunstan worked in a blacksmith shop in Mayfield. And the devil, disguised as a woman, appeared to him and tried to seduce him. Dunstan would have none of that. He took red-hot tongs and clamped them onto the devil's nose, and the devil flew away screaming. Well, that last part, at least, is a lie. The truth is revealed in a letter from Pope, uh, from Pope Gregory the Seventh to the Bishop of Milan in the year 1082. How Dunstan would, <clears throat> how Dunstan would not let the devil go, but put his head on an anvil and struck it with a hammer, and how he put the devil in a box and locked it, and put holy seals upon it and hid it. And now, here is that box. It's not very big. My husband and I are pleased, Mr. Bromag. Bromag? I don't know. Bromag. And we are aware that we owe you a final payment. But the truth is, we have no money left to give you. Instead, will you accept the deed to this house and all our worldly goods? I gladly, Countess. But from this day forward, my husband and I belong to Satan. I'm sure he will take good care of you. But what about the key? I completely... A completely separate item from the box, expensive to locate and require. My gift to both of you. Lord Satan, your freedom is at hand. I, your poor servant, ask only one thing for myself, a little mercy. Come forth in a shape that is not too horrible, please. And what do you wish for, Count? Enough gold to lie down in, and a gold crown on my head. Well, that's a very good wish. Squeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeee
Being armed with the sorry, being armed with the power of the Supreme Majesty, I do strongly command and constrain the O Spirit by him who spoke the word and as it was done, by the names of Adonai, El, Elohim, Eya, Asir Eya, and Zebarok, by the name Dunstan the Saint and your jailer whose image protects me. And by thy own secret name, Erlach? I don't know. It's going to be Erlach now. Erlach, a minor demon of hell, and knowing that name gives me power over thee. How did you learn my name? Pardon me. But then stand and inscribe your name, your sign on the lid, inside the lid of the box. I know that all demons are liars, so he must have beaten the truth out of you. Thus, I named, I named, by his name I command thee, and these his holy tongues, and by name Tetra, by this name Tetragrammaton, Jehovah. That's the German translation, which is given World War II, possibly not the best call. <clears throat> and by this name, Tetragrammaton Jehovah, do I command thee at which, at the, at the which being herald, the elements are overthrown, the air is shaken, the sea runneth. Enough! Enough! Command me, master! It grants me wealth and power. I know that's not very original, but in this world... Wealth you already. You have already. You own this house. There is a treasure hidden ages ago in a cellar wall. There is enough wealth there to buy earthly power if that is what you desire. But I can grant you a greater power than that. Uh, tell me. The great beast, harbinger of the apocalypse, is, now al is alive now in this world. He has denied his fate, but he has never given up his crown. It is impossible, it is invisible to him, and to all men, but he wears it. And that's Trixie knocking stuff off my desk. And his, and he is power to he is the power to loose and control the great furies of destructive nature. Even the regents of hell must bow before that. Even in my prison, I have heard them whispering his secret name. Anun Unrama. His, his secret name. Can you bring him here? Master. He is already. He is here already. How do you know this place? That thing about the House of Usher. I was back here in 69 with Broomhome, and that's exactly how he described this place. 69? 69? What? That was... That was that really bad, ugly witchcraft thing. Yeah. Count Garino brought the house just a year or two after that. 
I bet you got it cheap. I doubt it. Garina's one of those guys who's always getting scammed. Uh, that's why it makes sense he'd be mixed up with Igar Broomhead. The little guy, the, the little guy with the round head. I thought he was still in jail. Me too. He must have got out. Does it bother you the way Mr. Heath just happened to see this house all of a sudden? First out of psychic visions? Yeah, I don't like that much. A little too convenient. Oh, no, that's Hellboy. A little too convenient. Boom! So you really think we should just knock at the front door? What else are we going to do? I hope those idiots didn't op don't open that box. Spooky. Cal Garino? Anybody home? It's awfully quiet. Let's check upstairs. <coughs> well, they did open it. Idiots. Hey, what's that in the corner? Is that a monkey? He's got a gun! Blam, blam. Blam. Abe. Abe. You lousy son of a... Whoa. Whoa. Uh, Anurama. I curse thee and bind thee in chains of ice. And tongues of fire. Ah! I command thee by thine own secret name and knowing. Sweetie, so you're gonna have to move. I can't see the screen. Come on. You're right in front of where I'm reading. Come on. Pardon the tail action. I command, I command thee by thine own secret name, and knowing the name gives me power over thee. Now! Ugh! Ugh! Oh, that was, that was simple. Broomhead, do you remember me after all these years? I'm touched, almost brings a tear to the eye. Finish it, master! I strongly command thee by... By Bilam, Befagor, and Molech, by the most powerful princes and ministers of the Infernal Orders, by Asta... What? What? Not him! His favors come at too high a cost! But then I command thee by thy own name, I got my own name, I got well done, Bromad. Ah! And by Olnak, your own cousin who you betray who betrayed you to me. Now, master, speak the words I have given you. Anang on Rama Sugoth Abel. Obedat Yoga Jo Yes Ananam Sugo Aradam on Drama And I saw 
And I saw the beast brought low, humbled and chained upon the smoke of his brow, the crown of the apocalypse. Take it all, Mac. But remember who is slave and who is master. Always master. Always. And what about you, Hellboy? He is nothing now. Do whatever you please. It will be my pleasure to beat him to death. Walk, walk, walk. Walk, walk. Clink, clink. How did I get here? Oh, now I remember. Good monkey. Oh! Wah! Wah! Walk. 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 And off. No, it's not enough. You said I could do what I please with him. I am wiser than I was a moment ago. Well, I'm not finished. More and he will die. I want him to die. I had a good thing going for a long time, and then he comes along and sticking his nose in where it doesn't belong. I was in jail for 15 years. You can't imagine. I was in that iron box for 1,000 years. Do not speak to me about jail. At least you were alone. Hellboy will die, but the hand... But the hand must be struck off while he lives, lest his death bleed into it and poison it against us. What is the hand? A great and ancient thing. The means to the power you desire. The power to loose and command the dragon of Jujahad to breathe life into the lifeless soldiers of hell and to set that army to war against heaven. Heaven? There is a heaven? I got brumad of all, brumad of all men you must certainly never know. You most certainly will never know, will you? Now give me the tongs. St. Dunstan's tongs? You're really not afraid of them anymore? No. Says they melt. Now there is the sword to cut off the hand. Do it! At that moment, somewhere, what's happening? Follow my voice. Where am I? I can't see. You're on the, you're on the floor in the home of Count Grano, the monkey, a moment short of being dead. I know that voice. Who? Oh, no. oh, now, boy, we're not here to talk about me. It's you. Who, who are you? What's your name? Anang on Rama. That's just words, boy. What do they mean? Pah! 
I don't know. Anangang Rama, world destroy. Anangang Rama, the great world to destroy. <sighs> Anangan Rama, great world destroyer, the great beast, and upon his brow is set a crown of oh, and upon his brow is set a crown of fire. Is that who you are? I. I. No. Well then, boy, if it's not your name, what is it? Well then, boy, it's not your name, is it? Is it? Back on Earth. What do you think you're gonna do with that sword? Better put it away before you hurt yourself. What? He's moving. You said he wouldn't be able to move. Silence, you yapping dog! Hey! In truth, you should not be free. You are bound by your own name. It's not my name. It's yours. How about that? Ah! Huh. I see it now. I did not realize how completely I had become the thing. No. I, ha, I see it now. I did not realize how completely I had become the thing, even to, uh, now you have even more reason to fear me. Play ball, dumbass. Ah! Boom. Clink. Crachow! You're not a good monkey. You're bad. Ooh, ooh! Wah! Crash through the wall, thud into a great pile of treasure. Boom! Rum head. Ah! I, I didn't do anything. Where's Hellboy? Uh, where's Hellboy? Uh, let go. I, I don't know anything about anything. Rip. You tore my robe and it didn't do anything. Go, now go away. Slam. Bam, blam, blam. Romhead, unlock this door. Blam! Lord Astaroth, great prince of hell, save me! Blam! 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 In about a minute, this door is going to break. Then, thud. Oh, son of a... Thank you, Lord. I am your humble servant, and... Oh, no. I go bromad. Oh, no! No! Ah! That's the end of it. Oh, no. Wrong guy talking. Well, that's the end of it. You are finished. Lie down and die. You think so? May once, maybe you were fit to wear this crown. Oh, you think so? Maybe once you were fit to wear this crown, but no more. You have been living too long among them. 
You have almost become human. <coughs> well, that makes me a, lo a lot better than you, Snap. Asteroid, save me! Good luck with that. Yeah! Now it's over. Oh, you're tricky. But how fast are you? Ha! Sploosh. Well done. What the hell are you doing here? You know who I am? I got a pretty good idea. Oh, wait. I got a pretty good idea. If you know me, then you know what I want. Eh, what the hell. What am I going to do with him anyway? Poilak, back in prison for another thousand years. One should accept his place in the scheme of things. Don't you think? Shut up. You got your guy and I get lost. There is still the matter of this. I've had it with all this beast of the apocalypse crap. It's not what I am, and it's not what I'm ever going to be. That's the end of it. So why don't you take that thing and shove it up your... I'll keep it for you in hell. In pandemonium. In the house of the fly. There is a seat reserved for you. The crown will wait you there when you want it. Call me. Don't hold your breath. Heading back inside. Abe, are you okay? There you are. Are you okay? I... I'm going to be sore in the morning. <clears throat> it is morning. Oh, you're really a mess. Yeah, I should probably go to a hospital for a while. No problem, hey. You didn't see Bromit around here, did you? I did. Somehow he got bricked up in a wall. That's strange. Any signs of Count Gerardo? Gerino? Enough gold to lie in and a gold crown on his head. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you again next time. Psych! Uh, apparently there's an epilogue to Box Full of Evil, so I figured I'd go ahead and tack that on here and uh, not make you wait another week for that one. So, Box Full of Evil, the epilogue. Hellboy. Kate Corgan, BPRD. I thought you'd be here. I've always liked it here. I don't know why. One of the... Avebury Stone Circles, Wiltshire, England. Well, I've just come from the hospital. Looks like Abe's going to be fine. Yeah, I knew he'd be okay. A few years ago, he and I were in Canada looking for leg monsters. The, uh, Ogopogo came right up under Abe and bit him, tossed him 800 feet onto pointed rocks. Lake, uh, 
Can again, British Columbia, 1992. He lived through that. I figure if Ogopogo can't uh, kill him, he's sure not. A, he sure as hell not gonna get killed by a monkey. around looking for the edge. <clears throat> the other thing is the Bureau's not too happy with your report on the whole Bromed Carino business. They say it's sketchy. Screw them. Some weird stuff happened back there. Like in Romania. Uh, Hellboy Wake the Devil on the list volume one. We've read that. <laughs> Personal stuff. I don't need to know all the details. Bad enough I know. You know how I live? I don't know what you mean. I never deal with what I am. I just don't think about it. It's just, I just do my job, which usually involves me beating the crap out of things a lot like me. But, I don't, no, but I don't think about that. <clears throat> I live with my head buried in a hole, and that's fine. But then something like this, Brom Head comes along, and it's like I get yanked up out of that hole, and I get a look at part, at my part in the big picture. What kind of picture? Bad. All I can do is get my head back into that hole. But what if I don't? What if I keep looking at that big picture? I'm sure it would be scary at first, but in the long run, I think it would be the best thing for you. Really? I thought you'd tell me not to do anything crazy. Surprise. Poor, poor creature. That's tragic. Hush, goblin. Do you want to talk about this? No. What have you got there? Just more trouble. It's your burden, my son. You know, maybe I'll bury my my head just one more time. Squaw! Crunch. Jeez, how do you ignore something like that? Well, I know, let's go to Sussex. First Monk Hill Castle. I hear they've got a lady ghost there that rides around inside on, inside the castle on a donkey. That would be something. The end. Really, really this time, maybe. I'll see you next time. All right, yeah.